All right. Sky Clark is gone. And the statement, you can read what it says. I'm going to tell you what it really says. I want to start by saying that I have not enjoyed my time at the University of Illinois. The coaches have been hard on me because I'm a turnover machine. My teammates look at me with disappointment because I'm a turnover machine. I'm slow, unathletic, and I've just been terrible on the court. Uh, I made some friendships that will not last the rest of my life. Uh, I have made the decision to pull the plug. I will be moving on, going to a different school. Uh, those are personal reasons, and I'm just going to step away from basketball, reevaluate. Is basketball really for me? Because based on how I played this season, it looks like there is absolutely no future for me in basketball, not even in Europe. Um, so please respect my decision, and thank you, and much love. All right, and then Brad Underwood, Sky has made the easy decision to step away because he has just not been good, and I've been so hard on him. Uh, he remains a valued part of our program. That was a joke by me, not really. He gave up on us, so uh, we're done with him. Uh, he's thoughtful, and he cares. Um, that's why he's leaving. So he's gone. You know, I made videos early on talking about how, you know, everyone, not everyone, but most people had Sky Clark as a starter and he was just going to be the man. You can go back to my videos and I said many times that Jay Neps was not coming to sit the bench, that I would not be surprised if Jay Neps was a starter. And, of course, we know Sincere Harris recently became a starter. So it became pretty clear to Sky Clark that Sincere Harris was going to be better. Jaden Nepps is, is going to be better. And he was going to be the odd man out. You know, Sky Clark, just unathletic, slow, turnover machine, offensively worthless, and it just is what it is. Now, could he have gutted it out? You know, could he have took what Brad Underwood told him on the chin and stood tall? Yeah, he could have. But he didn't. He's gone. And you can throw out personal reasons and be mysterious all you want. But the reality is, it's just like Andre Cabello. You know, turnover machine, and he got tired of hearing it from Brad, and he left. And now, just like that, he's playing for St. John's. Same thing with this situation. You know, forget about what they say. The reality is, it just wasn't working here, and they're going to get a fresh start somewhere else. So we'll see where he plays, but I'll tell you what. If he continues to be slow and unathletic in a turnover machine with no offensive game whatsoever, he's going to not find a starting gig anywhere. So, Sky Clark, that was quick. That was real quick. Didn't even last half a season. Welcome to the new world. I'm telling you guys right now, because of of the rules now where you can just transfer whenever you want and play right away. I'm telling you right now, this is opening up the doors to making it really hard to coach a player up. Because if you say the wrong thing to a player, if you coach them up the, the way they don't like, guess what? They're just going to leave. They're just going to transfer and go play for somebody else. And if that doesn't work out, they'll leave there and, and, and try again. You know, Brad Underwood, he's a, he's a tough coach. 
You know, he wants to win in the tournament. We've talked about this in the videos. He wants to win in the tournament. And he wants them to be prepared for it. And it's just not happening. Turnover machines. Shoot more threes than free throws. Have more turnovers than assist. Pathetic free throw shooting. Pathetic three-point shooting. Offensively, the Illini are worthless. And Sky Clark was a major factor in that. And now he's gone. Honestly, I would love it if Coleman Hawkins, R.J. Melendez would do the same thing. Do it today. Let me, let me, let me go to sleep when I get home this morning. And let me wake up with the news that Coleman Hawkins and R.J. Melendez have left the program. You know, does that, that really would cripple our depth. You know, it would really destroy us, but that's okay. I've seen enough of those two. You know, in basketball, there's two sides of it, right? You have defense, you have offense. You got to play both. But anyway, this is about Sky Clark. He couldn't do anything on the court. So he's gone. Let me know in the comments. What are you guys' thoughts?